Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to connect to a MongoDB Atlas cluster from VS Code and manage databases, collections and documents. I have logged into my MongoDB account and this is the cluster I have. Click connect. Here you will be able to see the various ways in which we will be able to connect to the MongoDB cluster. So, but in this demo, we are going to connect from the VS Code. So, click this. Here you can find the information about installing the VS Code extensions and already I have installed that. So, now I am going to copy the connection string. Copy it. Now, I am in VS Code. Click the MongoDB. Click Add Connection. I am going to add connection using the advanced connection settings. Click Open Form. So, here I am going to paste the connection string and then going to click advanced connection options so the mongodb plus srv so that information has been already copied authentication the username has been picked up from this connection string now i need to provide the password now i'm going to click connect okay we were able to successfully connect to my cluster okay so here you can right click and here you have an option to rename the connection so i'm going to rename the connection to my cluster right click so here you can see the option for adding a database click add database okay so here you can see the options constant database so we are going to replace the new database name with the database which we want to create I'm going to create a university database and then we need to provide a collection name so i'm going to create a students collection okay so now we are going to run this click this button okay now it is running the mongodb playground and the result is okay which means the database and the collection has been created successfully i click and refresh so now we can see the university database which we just now created and the students collection so it doesn't have any documents in it okay now let us add document to it click insert document okay it's a students collection so i'm going to provide the name and the age name anand and i'm going to give the age as 25 now I'm going to run the playground okay so we could see one document has been successfully inserted with the insert this is the object ID okay so now you can refresh now we can see the document content okay so if you wanted to copy this document we can do that if you want to clone this document we can do that let's do a cloning so i am going to change the name to anandi and the age to 28 and then i am going to change the id because we can we won't be able to create the document with the same name okay then i'm going to run this we could see that another document has been inserted this is the new id so we can refresh and see this here okay so now let us delete one of the document click delete document so it's asking for the confirmation click yes so now the document has been deleted so now we have only one document even if you wanted to create a new collection you'll be able to click this and create a new collection so i am going to first create a new collection grades collection okay i'm going to execute it okay the result is okay so we will we can refresh and check refresh okay now you could see we have two collections in the university database now let us delete this collection okay. right click drop collection but we need to give the collection name so i'm going to type the collection name so now the collection successfully dropped now let us see how to delete the database itself right click here so we have a drop database option click drop database and give the database name which is university so the database successfully dropped so we will be able to perform all the operations 
using the VS Code as well. In this demo, we have seen how to connect to MongoDB Atlas cluster using VS Code and manage databases, collections and documents. If you like this demo, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.